Okay, so here um, it's a 17 um, square balaclava. Um, I need to put the uh, bottom edge in here and hide all the ends. Um, so I will be joining my yarn in the middle of the back. So this is my front opening for the face. This is the neck, middle of the front. The middle of this square is middle of the back. So I will be joining my yarn in the middle and working a row around of half double crochets. Just um, one half double crochet in each of the stitches around. And when I work this first round, I will be um, trying to hide as many uh, loose ends as I can. So like right here, I have all these ends and this is the end from when I joined the yarn. So I'm working them into this row here, into this round. So here I am to the point where um, there was a connection between two motifs. So I have this chain here and a chain here. They already have been connected by the uh, this slip stitch joint that I did. Um, if you have a tight um, join connection, it will look about the same on this end where these two stitches may be a little stretched out. So to incorporate them, um, to kind of bring them together a little bit, I, um, I would suggest to work just picking up this stitch and then picking up that stitch and work it as one stitch. Just work it together on every uh, connection. And then for the rest of the stitches, you put one half double crochet in once in each stitch. So um, I'm coming to the end of my round. I still have some tails left here and I don't want to just cut it because it's coming from this side and it's um, it will be really short. I want to keep it a little longer so I will um, use a tapestry needle and we'll just weave them in later. Um, so I have one more stitch and then I'm going to join the round with a slip stitch and now um, I am ready to do um, reverse single crochet. So um, I just completed the round of half double crochets. I wanted to reposition my camera so it's facing, um, it's really close up. So I connected my round, um, I joined my round with a slip stitch and I did uh, one chain now I'm ready to work the reverse slip stitch that will go from my left to the right and it's um, my work is facing the same way so it's still the right uh, side of my garment and um, I am inserting my hook in a stitch to the right of my hook so both loops and then I'm drawing up the loop and pulling it through so I have this stitch to the right, that's my original loop. This is the new one. And I had to do a little twisting motion with my wrist not to um, to pull this new loop through the first loop. Because you want to keep them both. Then you do the yarn over and pull in this yarn through the two loops. Then do the same thing to the next stitch. So I'm inserting my hook to the both to, uh, into the stitch to my right and then pulling the yarn through so i have two uh, loops on my hook and then um, drawing up the new loop and pulling through these two loops and so you just work that it takes um a little bit of a muscle memory and you may 
uh, to practice to pull it just the right way so you don't pull one stitch into the another stitch but um after you practice for a little bit um it's pretty straightforward and so since you already did the foundation row for the with the half double crochets it's really easy and um, you just work every stitch in that round So um, I would suggest to watch your tension. You don't want it to be too loose um, because this stitch is not very flexible and you don't want the, the edge to uh, ruffle or frill. So you want um, to adjust your tension as you go. Um, and um, so you, I really like the edge and It's really um, edging, just a um, finished look to the garment. And of course, as an option, you could always just um, leave the half double crochet and just leave it at, at, at that. Um, so this second row is just a suggestion. And so if you don't feel comfortable doing it or you just don't like it, um, by any means, um, just a round of half double crochet um, should do. So I completed the round of um, reverse single crochets. So I worked every stitch and then here, um, so this is the last stitch that I worked, the last stitch I worked that was the first stitch uh, stitch i worked um i want to work this stitch one more time and then i'm not going to use a slip stitch or anything i'm just going to fasten off my yarn and then i'll use a tapestry needle and kind of fold this end into here so if you see how um these edges, the yarn um, twists a little bit and create this um, almost like a scalloped effect. Um, so this is sticking out right now and I want to fold it and then so it just naturally goes from um, the bottom of the stitch over the top, over the edge. So I have this tapestry needle here. And I just want to kind of fold it like that. And then I could just start hiding the tail um, into the fabric. And so here, that's where it's folded. Um, it should look um, relatively invisible. So that's the edge in, um, and there are two more tails that I have to hide here.